In this video, we are going to see verification of Norton's theorem for a given circuit. So we need to find the current through 3 ohm resistor for which we need to verify the Norton's theorem. So let us draw the circuit first. Here we have the 3 voltage sources and 4 resistors, sorry 5 resistors. So those, those resistors we will take at a place in the workspace from the component list. So let us have, let us connect all the let us take all the components and place it in here. After taking all the components, uh, we need to set the values uh, as per given uh, diagram value that is a 20 volt to 5 volt and uh, 10 volt and also their uh, resistance values also need to set. After the diagram is over, uh, we need to set the, find the value through this uh, 3 ohm resistor so in which we need to connect uh, the ammeter. So let us uh, remove the terminal. Uh, uh, from 3 ohm resistor connect the ammeter from the uh, multimeter setup so now we connect the multimeter here and uh, let us change the terminal name as uh, ammeter and uh, let us run the diagram so, so the current value is uh, uh, the current value is uh, minus uh, 806.45 milliampere now we need to find the short circuit current by removing this uh, 3 ohm resistor so after removing the 3 ohm resistor let us run the diagram so there we have the uh, current value is minus 3.571 ampere so this is the short circuit current so after finding this short circuit current uh, we need to find the uh, equivalent resistance it is called a thevenin resistance or norton resistance so that can be calculated by removing the all the voltage sources by short circuit uh, 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 removing all the voltage sources as a short circuit and then we will take the when we run the diagram and before that we need to set the value as a ohm meter so this is the thevenin resistance uh, that is 0.875 ohms now we need to draw the equivalent not an equivalent uh, circuit uh, having the uh, um, current source and uh, parallel parallel thevenin resistance in addition to that uh, lo removed load resistance that is a 3 ohm resistant all the components are connected in a parallel manner so we will connect uh, all the components uh, all the components here and uh, let us change the value so the second r1 resistance is nothing but the in resistance and uh, r2 is nothing but a load resistance 3 ohm so the in resistance we will change uh, before that we will set the current value as uh, as calculated previously so that current value we will set here thevenin so, is 0.875 and the norton current value is uh, you can set the current and also to measure the uh, current through this 3 ohm resistor we need to connect the ammeter So everything is over let us run the diagram so when we run the diagram the current through this resistor is minus 806.35 so that is that is the value previously calculated.